Good morning, everyone. It is Ryan for this week. Pigeon action gold. Let me get that back to you. There you go. It is a chilly morning. A whopping six degrees today. We are going to go to the market. <clears throat> I was raining in before. That's why I didn't get here any earlier. Uh, but uh, it seems like it looks like there could be some more rain, but you never know. We are going to head over to the market. Let me put my logo up here in the top corner for those people who like to steal and copy and what are we saying? Destroy or whatever. Um, we're going to go to the market and we're going to go from there. Reminder, guys, this show works best when you guys participate. Well, I'm normally not too loud when I go to the market. I'm just quiet and looking. Um, and we kind of go from there. Let's make sure that we are on Facebook and YouTube. <clears throat> then we will walk our way over. But definitely a chilly, chilly morning. But... We can't go to the market unless we get out of the car, and uh, yeah. Time to get out of the car. I want to thank all the people last, last night that were messaging me. Um, early in the morning, uh, you know. I had people messaging me at, I went to bed at 10. I said, I'm going to try going to bed at 10. Went to bed at 10 and 11. My phone started to ding, and 12, my phone dinged, and 1 dinged. Then... It was quite interesting. I had all the people dinging me and messaging me, and 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 some people were asking me completely nonsensical questions. Um, but I'll save that for another show. So I ended up going to bed about three thirty, and I got up at six. This is a tough life we live here. I like to see some nice whites. Can you handle them? Yes. Well, can, I don't know if there's going to be whites. We're going to see if there's going to be whites. Reminder, there is what there is at the market. This is the last Sunday for the market. Again, people do not ask me to look, look at pedigrees and blah, 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 blah. I ain't doing that. We're not here to look at pedigrees on pigeons, okay? What we're here to do is look at the old market. Look at some pigeons. Maybe we're going to find a white. Maybe we're going to find a nice red. Maybe a grizzle, a slate. A checker, who knows? We don't know. We're not going to get in depth into studying a pedigree at this time of the morning. Uh, so don't ask for the pedigrees. Keith, what's going on? All right. So we are on YouTube and we're on Facebook. So that means this show can start. Uh, I hate getting out when it's chilly. Let's hear if the morning doves are cooing today. This is my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the trip is just walking to the market. Just from the sound effects. We've got Stephen Collins all the way from sunny uh, Australia. All right. I got my keys. Thank God I only had one cup of coffee this morning. I was going to do a Facebook show last night, but I decided not to. I decided to go to bed. <laughs> that was the wrong move. I shouldn't have went to bed. I should have. No, no, no bed. <laughs> Every time I get the plan... That I'm going to go to bed early. It's like a, it's a disaster. And then if you don't answer your, your phone, then you're you're a bad man. All right, Stuart, what's going on? All right, well, So far, it's a very little quiet, quiet walk. We're not getting a lot of the, the groaning. Yeah, a little bit of groaning, but not too much. Let's post the comments. Good morning, Stewie. Dominic, 
Like, hey, what's going on? Dominico. Uh, oh, I was going to give you a ring, yeah. I was going to give you a ring the other day, but I I, uh, I didn't. Uh, we're going to go to the cafe this morning, I think, too. I think we deserve something sweet. Oh, not so much music here this morning. This is, uh, guys, this is exactly what Dominic drives in Canada. He drives, uh, I think that's the same one. Maybe Dominic's here, I don't know. Again, uh, <clears throat> this morning, well, not this morning, at 1 o'clock this afternoon, I will be at uh, Bosman and Lincoln's. They invited me over. We're going to have maybe a, a coffee or a beer, talk some pigeons. Good morning. And a reminder, wherever you're watching from, just put where you're from. And, you know, kind of like, you know, just put the country. You don't have to put the city or whatever. Good morning, Ryan. How are you? Let's go. Let's see the beautiful colors. Oh, we've got Dominic. Dominic is Dominic. This morning is ready for some pigeon porn. He is our color wheeler, guys. Dominic is our color wheeler. What does that mean? He knows the colors really good. So, you know, what we might call a chocolate, he's not going to call a chocolate. So he's going to be the color guy. And let's see. Last week there was a lot of chocolates, a lot of reds. Last week. Let's see if this week is the same. Whoa. We got some wind this morning. I'm not enjoying the wind. Is this my third trip? This is my third trip to the market. I think it goes for about five weeks. This is my third trip. Whoa, you can feel the wind. Woo. You know, when you've had, for the last, I'd say, two weeks, it's been probably the coolest has been 10. And we've had some days up to 20 here. When you hit a day of six, it's shit. Six is shit. Six is cold. And I know for you people in Canada, you're going to say, I'm crying and I'm whining. And I'm, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm going to 100% agree with that. I am. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go to the bakery. For y'all wondering, we're going to go to the bakery. I don't know if I'm going to sit outside and eat the bakery. Shit, it's windy. As I say, there's the beautiful church. Back to me, Ryan. <sighs> That's cold. There we go. Good morning from the UK. See, my uh, my dyslexia, when it says good morning from the UK, it looked like it said good morning from FU. <laughs> I was looking at it quick, sorry. <laughs> Let's start off. You can hear the wind. Oh, she's windy. Let's try it again. Oh, it's even quieter today. Quiet is good. Yeah, today's cold. Today is cool. Last week I saw some indigos, yes, ashes, browns, yellows, etc. Good morning. Good morning. 
It's an awful wind today. Here's there's the man himself, Dan. And while we have Dan on, good morning, Dan. What do you think of the birds in uh, this week's auction, both yours and uh, Bosman Lincoln's? This is the man who's on right now, guys. Dan Rigo. If you guys have questions, Dan is on now. Ask him about his matched pair. That auction will close this evening. Nice to see you with us this morning, Dan. Let me get back to this. It's cold. All right, thank you. Feed on that one. Let's get the comments back up so I can see. Blues with white beaks carry smoke. Ah, all right. Thank you. We'll just keep walking. Walk around a little bit here. I gotta keep moving so I warm up. This week isn't last week. Oh, here you go, Dominic. Good morning. Yeah, I needed a heated vest. Come on. Well, there's one for you, Dominic. Let's show this one to Dominic. This will get Dominic going this morning. Let's see if I can show one. Hold on. One second. Let's just get one. Dominic always likes color, so. Here you go, Dominic. Starting to get some rain. See, it's not, not. No, it's cool this morning yet. You can tell. Uh oh, we got white ones. This this is gonna be this is gonna be a bird I guess I gotta look at the white one. Here we go. Smoky tick with the blue. Let's check the white one out for our buddy. Let's see. As I said I would. Too this morning. Oh, there's lots of wind. There we go. I'm under the umbrella, so it's okay. 
Hey Ryan, great show. Could you please show us some old pigeons from Liverpool? Old pigeons. Okay, gonna look for some old pigeons. I'm going to be going to the coffee shop here in a minute. Oh, we got from last week. The colors again from last week. Remember the yellows, guys? Mike Green, where are you? Well, at least we've got some drizzle. I always like the uh, <laughs> the drizzle with the sun out. Here are some older ones from Germany. Problem is here, I can't put the camera down. Same birds from last week, these ones. Remember him from last week? Is this what you were talking about, John Robinson? There's our friend, Jason. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, man. Only English. Only English. <laughs> Only English. <laughs> photo? Oh, there you go. You're the guy on the photo. <laughs> it is chilly. Chilly, chilly, chilly. All the baskets are closed. Yeah. You know what that means? We get to go for breakfast. We get to go for breakfast while it cleans up. You see all the pigeons? We got the old basket here from last week? I don't think so. I'm not going to open the baskets up yet. It's too cold for that. There you go. A little sneeze there. Oh, look at that, eh? Look at that meal. That's one I would take. Look how nice it's sitting. There's the hen and the cock, I would say. Here's a nice, it's a nice looking one. Oh, that wind is, that wind is fire today.
Oh, that's cold. Too cold this morning. Too cold. All the. You can see it's a different morning than yesterday or than uh, last week. Oh, here we got old birds. I'll look at old birds in a moment. It's too, it's too cold for old birds yet. But all the old birds are low. There's your, there's your group of blue grizzles. Ooh. Yeah, Jeff, I need your heated vest today. It's cold this morning. Yes. Chilly. There you go, Dominic. Here's one for you. This one right here. Let's cover this one, Dominic. Look. Now that's an odd color. Oh. I think we might have to get some breakfast here first. <coughs> this is feeling like a breakfast morning. Maybe we, maybe we just wait a little bit to warm up, just like a tiny bit. I bet. <laughs> yeah, today you, you need one of those. Uh, you need one of those vests this morning, man. Oh, is that cold? You can't even have a duvel this morning. What do you guys think? Should we go to the bakery for a moment? She's she's a quiet crowd. She's quiet. And it's so cold this morning. You can see the little youngsters, they don't like it. So let's walk over to the bakery and see what we got going on. We'll come back. We've got a pre we've got a pre warm up now. We were warm in the car, now we're cold. Warm up here again. Go to the bakery. <laughs> there, we've seen only one pure white for you. There you see the guys coming with the little baskets. See, coming to set up, to sell, set up to sell. Be just a bit better if it was just like eh, no wind and eh, about five degrees warmer. The prices of the young pigeons at the market: eh, twenty-five to fifty euros. Twenty-five to fifty. And no, I'm not going to sit outside. Oh. How many people in there? Oh, there's a lot of pigeon guys in there, I think. Come on, let's, let's go. Have you watches? Oh. Mm -hmm. What are we going for today? Oh. Yeah. I want the creams. Yeah. Uh, what's that? I put 20 pounds just looking at the gig. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. 
Jesus. Hello. Uh, can I get uh, one of those again? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, I'll eat here. Can I eat here? Yeah. Yes, and I'll get one of the raisins. And uh, what's another good one? What's one more good one? Pick me one. Yeah. Surprise me. We're going to get three. Don't laugh. I did. <laughs> All right. Uh, coffee. We got to do this with coffee today, guys. We got a lot of snacks here. What oil you? Seven euros eighty. Thank you. Oh. I just sit somewhat quietly. Uh, let me just. Ah. Uh, uh, one second, guys. Let's do this and rotate this around. Hey guys, all right, thank you. I didn't plan on having a sweet breakfast, but I'm going to do it anyways for you guys. Every time I come, you guys always like this part, so I'm going here. Steven, you'd go crazy for that. For those of you who don't like raisins, thank you. This is like breakfast of champions. We're going to warm up and then go back to see the birds. All right, so what do we eat first, guys? See, I picked our booth. Warm coffee. So what do we go with first, guys? You eat too much. I had to try raisin. The... Uh, chocolate there with the cream. That was a 10. And I let her pick one. She picked a good one too. I'm going to start with the raisin. Quite nice. Raisins. Hmm. We could be honest. The outside's a little dry. The inside's nice. There's nothing that a bit of coffee can't fix. get raised in the last time, but uh, no, mm. this isn't the, this isn't the best bakery, or this is just the one that's right beside the market, but well, when you're cold, you warm up, it's still very good quality. And as you can see, it's busy. We're going for the money shot here. That's the best. Oh, Jeff, they're serving Fantas right now. There's my friend, Chris Williams. All the way from Scotland. What's going on, Chris?
Hmm. Oh yeah, the middle of the roll, the middle of the wheel, super. Not too sweet. What's next, chocolate or Danish? You pick. I did handle some pigeons. I know you guys are going to say it's kind of gross, but I've probably eaten enough pigeon shit in my days, so I'm not going to overly worry. Oh, she's hot. It's ripping hot, man. So what do you guys think? We'll go with the chocolate. Oh my God. This cream filled one or whatever. It's gonna be good. I should've got like a wet bin. When you come in here and do one of these things live, it's really weird. Because if you guys don't talk to me, I just talk to myself and it's worse. What's going on guys? So, what do you guys think? Next up, should we do the, should we do this next? Which I know already this is good. We did it last week. Or do we go, I don't want to do the chop, no. I don't know. This man is going to be good. I'm thinking this one. Oh yeah, giddy up. Mm. Mm. Is that good? Mm. The custard in this is a 10. Not too sweet. I could eat like 25 of those. Can't put it down once you stop. I see no guests here to help me enjoy it. But that's okay. This is probably exactly what we needed to go to the market. Is the next one up is the chocolate. Mm. What the hell? Looks like I got a feather in my beard. It happens. I should have had a shower this morning. Next up is my favorite one the chocolate. She's heavy. 
She's happy. Oh, that chocolate smells good. Okay. Right now in third place is the raisin is in third. Except for right in the, in the middle there. It was very good. Enjoyed from... What is this? We're not sure where Jeff is right now. <laughs> Jeff's stuck somewhere. Which one's the best? I don't know. Should we try it? between the second one and this one. I do like chocolate, though. And this custard's going to be money. I'm going to have a carbo crash. Inside, very good. Mm, that posture. Let's dismantle it so you can see. I split it. Mm. <coughs> oh. My last pastries. I'm not going to have any more pastries. Now we go back out, look at the birds. We're warm. And we go from there. We should have a market in here. It'd be a lot better on a day like today. crash. It's coming. Uh, 
tonight. Let's post this up here so you guys know what we are doing this morning. There's Lars. Good morning, Lars. Where are you at this morning, Lars? Reminder, guys, closing tonight. We have two auctions in progress. Bosman's and Lincoln's. The matched pair. And we have... Dan Rigo, again. They're all matched pairs as the breeders would sell them. So check those out. Are you ready to roll? We go back out and look at some more birds. All right, let's rotate the camera here again. Let me rotate it. Let's roll. Good thing we're lucky we got in there when we did. Oh yeah, it's a lot warmer outside here now, guys. It's a it's a whopping six six point half six point half. Okay, I've had the carbs. I'm loaded. <clears throat> I'm questioning my life choices. You know, I always do that. I should have just ch chose one. I should have skipped the raisin. I think the one that the lady picked, it was pretty good. The chocolate's great, but boy, that's a big piece of chocolate. <clears throat> let's let's see if it's warmed up a little bit. I can feel it's warmed up a bit. Or I'm just warm in there and I've got coffee and carbs in me. I'm not complaining. These are first world problems, but uh, it's all right. Let's see if the crates are open more now. But you can see that wind. Wind is definitely kicking up. All right. Lisa. Baskets are open here now a little more. Let's check these out. The crates are open now, so it's a little better. This is a definitely a younger group than last week. There's a cute pair of reds. It's chilly, eh? It's got chilly in it. Could be nicer. <laughs> Did you buy any yet or what? No, it, it, in a minute, Barrett, probably. Yeah, nothing yet.
Most most külön filmzom a Youtube-nak. Mm. Ja, de is good, de mooi, beautiful. Thanks. Oh. And you live not very now? No, no, no. I was just filming. Just filming, so. Every time I'm going to come here, people call me the night before, and then you never get to sleep. I either come here feeling hungover or tired. <laughs> Did you stay here last night? Oh, not far. Not too, too far. How about you guys? A hotel? What was the price of the hotel? Um, uh, oh, that's all right. Yeah, you're close. Just walk here. Over there. Oh, now you got to buy some birds. There's nobody here this week. It's empty. Yeah, I think that's why. Hey, there's next week. We yeah, they start. Oh well, that's nice though. Let's keep looking. Birds look nice this week, Ryan. Yes. Yeah, they do. There you go. Right, that's a nice looking one. That's a real sharp looking. Very sharp. If that guy's got that old basket from last week. Let's look at the grizzles here. the old crate from last week. Oh, oh, oh. Crates, all different prices. Old birds, young birds. Do have the old crate? Does he have the old crate? Does he? No? Nope. He sold it. See? Pigeons, pigeons, and more pigeons. Should have grabbed it last week, <laughs> but I didn't. Yeah, from the, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. the YouTube. The YouTube. <laughs> no, no, not Australia. Canada. 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 That's close. Just on different sides of the world. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> oh, left to right, yeah. Never see that. I never, yeah, that way, that way's a different way. Okay, let's look at a picture. 
not fun to do. This one looks good. It's okay. Let's look at the pie. Yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Buying, buying, buying. Tiger grizzle basket right here. <laughs> pretty or what? Let's look at this one. This one's a pretty one. Let's see. Jeff's not there to buy them. Yeah, I know. Oh, there you go. Oh. 
These, these people here, they went shopping. Look at this. Look what they bought. All the fun. Have you ever seen any anyone fly away? No. I haven't. Most of these aren't going to fly away. And there we go. Let's let's get out into the sun for a moment where we can warm up. Just a little bit of sun is nice. Oh. Some more. from last week. Hold on, let's see. The same one from last week.
Yes. Again. So let's move the comments here for a second to you guys. Let's post this up here. You guys know where we are. You guys have made a lot of comments this morning. Everybody's just quiet, 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 quiet. At least she stopped raining. Definitely quieter here today. That, that's all right. Let's look over here a little bit. Oh, we've got some yellows here. Those are your yellows, yellows. What are you thinking here this morning? It's quiet. We did the look around. Always a fun morning. I'm not sure if we're still even on. <laughs> so, yeah, this... Uh, This is the last weekend for the Lear Market until next year. I think I've been here now about 10 times. It's always quite fun. It's nice to bring Steve. You see, though, they start racing here next weekend. So that's that.
1369 at the church. And you know, even if you, uh, even if you just come here when there's no market, just to see this little spot in Lear, it's right. You just put in in your, in your on your phone or whatever in your map Lear, and it'll bring you right into the the center here. They got lots of nice little restaurants and cafes. You can sit outside. And yes, I know, there might not be pigeons. But at least you'll uh, you'll see it. You'll be in the square. Again, we're starting to pull, put up our pigeon our next pigeon boss tour. We're sometime in the beginning of November. So if you want to come on our pigeon boss tour, you can. Obviously, in November, we won't be coming to the Lear Market. We're going to be doing a lot of other fun things. And again... Lots of little places to eat and have a drink. You can walk. I'm just going for a little walk. I'll go for a quick little stroll. Hey guys, if you can hear me, please. Post your comments in. It feels like I'm. Uh, there's nobody on. I know you, you might be uh, dozing off or whatever. That's okay. We'll go for a little walk here this morning. Might as well. We gotta burn some of that. Uh, we gotta burn some of those uh, sweets off. There's a guy coming on with his basket. Oh, here we are. Oh, shit. You know what, guys? I only put star messages. Uh, let's see. Good morning from... S no, that's Hari. Sorry, guys. Good morning. I missed some of the comments. 4 a.m. in Ohio. There we are. You know what? My finger must have hit a button when I was touching one of the birds. No fly away. Lucky Jeffrey's not there to buy them. It's not busy here today. Morning. The last one of the year for the markets. Yes. Yes, you are. You get to sleep in next week, yeah. Holy birds are just guys trying to make money. Well, hey, I don't know. If you can look into a young pigeon and, and tell me 100%, then I guess it would be what it is. Sure, people are making money. And I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. There are some good birds. Like in anything. Have you taken them... 
to the pub that has the pigeon hampers. Yes, I have. Having that, you said you'll get married there one day. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll get married there one day if the restaurant's still open. Two things that have to happen. You have to get married. And then the second thing is you got to uh, make sure the restaurant's open. Now, if the restaurant's not open, then you can't get married. We're canaling it. Well, I'm glad you guys are still on with me here. What's going on from Scotland? We love our friends from Scotland. Here comes uh, that little red car. That kind of reminds me of uh, Stephen Collins. Let's pull this down. We are in the little town of Lear. I'm going to walk here. Let's just keep walking and see. Let's keep the comments up. I didn't know there was a star comment. If you push the star comment, you only get star comments. But I don't know what the star comments mean, so don't take that personally. I don't want anybody getting all clustered and all upset with themselves or me. Let's do a little walk. I can't wait to walk back into the wind. There's nothing more fun than walking back into the wind. Uh -uh. I bet you, I actually was going to get that basket from last week, but the basket is gone. That's what it is, guys. Same thing at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You take a look at some of the birds we have. If you say, oh, I'm going to get the next one, you might miss the one that you wanted. So don't do that. That's, that's never a good idea. Uh-uh. I'm just bringing you guys for the walk with me here this morning. And then we're going to walk back in a little bit. Pigeons up there in the steeple. What do they say? The best ones go to the top? Isn't that what they say? You never know. I could have walked down here and found another bakery, which we don't really want to do, but it's a really weird shop. Gonna do a walk around. Uh, I'm scowling. You ever I need a top performing? I, like I said, there's good birds. You have to look. You have to pick. You have to be lucky. But uh, there's you see some guys there with results. Hello. More pigeon guys going to the market. Man, they build this thing. Holy shit. From the one side, she looks good. From the other side, she looks even better. <laughs> Isn't that something? See? I've been coming to the Lear Market this whole time, and I haven't even come to this part. I mean, even the trees look good. Again, the market's a little quiet today. I like it when there's a little bit more people. The baskets are open a little more. People seem to be a little different 
you know, the weather's not very nice today. It's kind of shitty. Holy jumping. This church, man, they built a church. Woo! I'm not enjoying the wind, but we're not going to complain. Again, you can still see the beauty even with the scaffolding. So we're going to go around here. Oh, they're doing like a mega job on this. You wonder how long something like this takes. Not sure, but... Walk around, keep going back. And we'll start to walk back towards the market again. It is a gorgeous place. Like I said, too bad it's under that kind of construction, but hey, what can you do? They, they decided to do construction around the whole church. That's almost like a church of scaffolding. church beside the big one. Oh, the wind is ripping through here, folks. Come to this side. We're starting to clear everything up. Crazy windows, holy jumping. And that's something, guys. Let's head back. That wind is kicking up. Yeah, the wind is, whoa, not my cup of tea. Right around that roundabout there. At least we have no wind now, which is good as we walk back. Again, guys, I'm going to be at Bosman's and Lincoln's today in about about four hours' time. I'll be back there, and uh, yeah, we're going to. Uh, Talk to Mark and Dirk. If you have questions for them, let us know. Or don't let me know. Let them know. Ask them the questions that you want. You know, if you want to talk feeding or you want to talk, uh, 
medications or training or picking breeders or whatever you think you can ask oh this is a moment here for heather heather uh if you're looking for luggage again we are selling the pigeon boss tour again for november so people can't complain and uh see heather if we come back to the if you come back on the next trip all kinds of bags here for you heather Whew. I mean, they got lots of bags. Heather is just licking her lips on the bags. I think this this one here in orange for 129 euros will look great on Stephen Collins. Again, guys, we're going to have to have a meeting about Stephen Collins this coming week. He forgot to include his partner in the Pioneer One Loft race. And there could be, you know, a little penalty going on. Jeez, we got our art store here. Bob Ross would be proud of that. Guys, if you want to watch something great to put you to sleep, I'm going to say go on YouTube and type in The Joys of Painting with Bob Ross. It's incredible. If, if it's not a 10, let me know. Ooh. Check that out. Yeah, we are going to have this week, this week we're going to have a good, a good pigeon meeting on partnerships. Partnerships, partnerships, oh. partnerships. We're going to talk about partnerships. You guys are enjoying the walk this morning, I can tell. There you go, eh? That's one hell of a big building. And again, guys, we're going to have a vote on Stephen Collins. <laughs> ah. Every 15 minutes, the bells go off. There's definitely enough little restaurants, and little bars and pubs you can go and enjoy. Don't worry, Stephen. It's okay, my friend. It is nice. Again, Stephen Collins was on the Pigeon Boss Tour with his lovely partner, Heather Collins. Maybe I should get an interview. Maybe this week I'll get an interview. I'll do one off the record. Or maybe we'll bring Stephen Collins right on. And we'll do an interview on flying partnership, husbands and wives. I think uh, that could be a really good show. Oh, I'm hoping when I go to Dirk, uh, Dirk's today, that they, uh, they don't have any of that, uh, that, uh, oh, what do they call it, uh, any of that pie, it's like, a, an apricot pie, it's, 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 it's deadly. Getting to the apricot pie and just one slice turns into about four. And then four slices with a duvel and three coffees. You're floating by that point. We're back. Oh, getting to this. Well, here, you know what? Let's go over here. Let's check this out. What the hell? Maybe there's no wind. I don't want to go into the square. It's windy. Let's go down here. Again, guys, if you like our shows, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I always like when you guys participate. But you can see right in there, there's all these little streets. They've got all different restaurants. I always recommend, hey, 
Go on your trip advisory. Look for four, four and a half to five star places. You're normally not going to go wrong. The higher the star, the better it is. And for people that don't understand, when you see these, you scan them. That's the menu. Most of the time, they'll be in English or whatever you need them to be in. More little restaurants. Come here in the summer, I believe it's quite nice. So yeah, we've got to get, uh, we should get uh, Stephen Collins on to talk partnerships. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Stephen, you're all right. We're only playing. We're only playing. Oh yeah, look at more little places. A lot of the time, if you just go into the, the center of town and you just sort of walk, you know, just walk, 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 you'll find all different kinds of places. You never know what you'll see. Thank God I brought finger mitts today. I know I sound a little wimpy, but. <laughs> oh, Stephen, don't worry. You are ready, my friend. Check this clock out. This is quite neat. We're not sure what this is, but this is quite something, eh? Any guesses, anyone? Oh, look, another, another church over there. Not really sure. Let's go over this way. Stephen, what time is it in lovely Australia? It is 6.50 in Australia. And Heather goes, uh, it's 7.20. I'm not sure how it could be 6.50 p.m. Oh, and on. Can't be 6 p 6.50 if it's 7.20. It has to be at least in the same, um, it has to be. That was all right. You guys tried on that one. I'm going with, I'm going to go with Heather on this one. Where do we want to go from here? Do we want to go over to see that building or what? 
I think if I walk that way, I'm going the wrong way. I think I got to go back this way and over. So let's go back. We'll get this view. That looks like either like a little hotel or a patio there. Every state for a half an hour. Huh. This is, I don't even know. Is that right? I don't know. I'm going to say that you're probably right. Somebody's right. I'm, I don't care who's right. Just somebody's right. Stephen Collins is from Melbourne. They say that Melbourne is the heartbeat of Australia. I didn't say that. This is what Heather and Stephen told me. It is the heartbeat of the country. And that is pretty impressive. Fawcett, where are you from? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna waddle over the. I don't know if we're gonna waddle that way or. Oh hell with it! Let's do some waddling. What else are we gonna do? Only Western Ontario, uh, Western Australia. It's two and a half hours difference. Okay. All right, Fawcett, Fawcett, our man. He is. Uh, I think he's saying that Western Australia. Now, is Western Australia kind of like the Wild West in America? Did the people from Melbourne, did they fight the Western Australians? I don't know. We're going to try and head over to that building. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but let's see. See, I would have thought all the countries are on the same minute. I didn't know the change the minute, so that's even getting more screwed up. See, check this out. That's that's great. I kind of like that. I think we went the wrong side. It smells very restauranty here. <clears throat> Boss, you got to get on our next tour. You can come with Stephen Collins. You guys can uh, fly together. Oh. I think we should have went the uh, the other way, but that's okay. We're gonna try it this way today. I think he jumped her there. Well, we want to get over to that, but I think I'm going the wrong way. So, yeah, I think I am. Uh, let's go back this way. Let's see. Maybe we can cut through over this way. Again, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Lear Market this morning. We're just walking around the little town. We changed it up a bit. We did some pigeons. We can go back to the pigeons. It's windy. It's kind of chilly there. Pigeons are looking cold. Very young today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for sharing. Oh, no. Thank you for watching. Like I said, if you come to these small little towns, I recommend just type in. Lear. You type in Lear, you'll hit the square. You go to the square and then just break off down the little little street. So you never know what you're going to find. Look at We don't even know where we're going. But we're having fun. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Hey, if you like our content, or if you're a loft and you want a loft tour, let me know. If you got the pigeons and you got the results... You got all that, you let me know. Preferably if you're in Europe, it's better. Or UK. Oh, there we go. I thought it was going to be a little more dramatic, but uh, it's kind of just dropped here in the middle. Stephen Collins says... 
All right. So in Australia, their clocks are going all over the place. We figured this out. I mean, they're on different minutes. Yeah, I. every time I think to myself, do I want to go to Australia? I think about it, and then I just say, sure, why not? Let's get on different zones. Let's just go with it. That was just kind of hidden in there. I thought there was going to be some big, like, do 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 do, you know, but ah. And I'll tell you, these streets here, if you haven't walked on this type of cobblestone, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if you haven't walked on that type of cobblestone, your feet get sore. I mean, geez. Feel it in your feet. I'm I'm just getting so used to it now that man, the people who put these this stuff in, incredible, eh? The right answer, right? It's a great answer. Why wouldn't you want to go to Australia? I, I do have to get there one day. We're not sure, but I'll have to get there one day. If anyone wants to start chipping in the money, make little donations, I will fly to Australia, we can meet uh, Fawcett, and we can meet uh, Stephen Collins, we can try all the different time zones, how really big can Australia be, we'll just drive over, we'll drive over, and lots of construction, I'm telling you, these people like to do construction, I think Bob Vila, he must have come from Belgium. Let's go down this way. I mean construction. And here, look. We didn't think cars could come even down here. They are. Cars are, see? Well, there we go again. We can head that way. Uh, what's over here? There's the back side of the church. Yeah, this is this is quite the little town, eh? Come on, let's go back this way. Jeff Henderson would love to see you in NSW, Australia. Well, I'm telling you guys from Australia, I'm gonna have fun in Australia. I can guarantee you that. Who knows? We can go to the zoo there. You guys got a great zoo. Uh, I'm sure you guys got great bars. We're going to have to visit some lofts. But I recommend we get the we get the group of Aussies to come on the next Pigeon Boss tour. Steve, Steve Collins will lead the way. Steve and Heather. Jeff, you come on down. You guys are going to have a great time. We're going to go to the Pigeon Pub. We're going to do the ultimate beer tasting where you will really taste different beer. And I'm telling you, it's not going to taste like beer. It's going to be magical. It's going to be absolutely magical. And... Wasn't it Jeff? Jeff, aren't, you, aren't, aren't weren't you the one with the mankini? If you have an extra one of those, you could bring it. Ah, uh, we want to go left or we want to go? Huh? Well, we came through there. Let's go this way. The hell with it. If you have a mankini, you can bring that. Stephen Collins would like to jump into one. Maybe. 
I could be an Australian outfit. Get a group photo of you guys. Just saying. Look at this. Scooters, electric. This is where it's at. Eh? Get in those electric scooters. Can't wait. Jeff Henderson is in. Jeff Henderson, you're coming on the next trip. I don't know. Do you live close to Melbourne? No, you probably don't. But you know what? You can, you can just drive or maybe take the bus to Melbourne, hook up with Heather and Stephen Collins. You guys can fly together. Hey, hey, from Cape Town. What's going on? In Cape Town. You got to come on our next tour, too. Let's see how many countries we can get on the next one. Let's see. Can we get five different countries? That would be quite interesting. Remind the guys to like, share, and subscribe. I'm bringing... All the mankinis. So Jeff is bringing them. Steven is in. Where's our man from the Wild West of Australia? We got to get him involved. And hell, Randall. Better bring Randall one. Now, guys, reminder, I do all the filming. And I take all the photos. So you guys got to just come together as a group. I'm going to unite. I'm going to take all the photos. And, uh, yeah. I don't know where I, I went to now. I went the wrong way here, but that's all right. Come on. Steven. You know the difference between Mary... No. So straight on the plane, mate. Just getting straight on the plane. Wait a minute. Let's ask Mr. Collins, how far are you from Sydney? Look at a nice old tree, eh? <sighs> what a nice kind of walk this morning. Yeah, it was a bit cool. Thank God the internet gods kept up with us. Like I said, just go for a walk. You'll enjoy it. Oh, we got lots of people from Australia on today. Australia is just leading the show. Again, our next Pigeon Boss tour. Guys, if you want to know how the trip was, and I'm going to be honest, you can ask Stephen or Heather Collins. They were on it. And if you are thinking of coming, I'm telling you, it's well worth it. And from what I gather... If you want to go a pre-Pigeon Boss tour, go to Malta for seven days. If you're coming from Australia, you might as well make it a two-week adventure. You're going to get a week of Pigeon Bossing and pick somewhere in Europe where you want to go. I recommend it. Don't do all that flying for just seven days. Make it a super trip. Heather, Heather says she can take the photos. And you know, that's what's so great about on our last Pigeon Boss tour. Our guests were even getting involved in the festivities. And you know what, Heather, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. So guys, Heather and myself will be taking the photos of you guys in your mankinis. You know, that's real bonding. Good call on that. Heather, you know what we'll do? We'll both take photos from different angles. That way we kind of get like a panoramic view 
right? Like even, even Heather, you could do the front view and I'll do the back view or, or we can just, or we can get like, we can walk around in a circle and do a video. That could be great for the group. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. So we head back here to the market. 11 hours drive to Sydney. All right, well, I don't know if you want to make that drive with the flight. Probably want to just fly out of Melbourne, but maybe you guys can meet like halfway in Dubai and then just, just start tripping it up together. There we go. There's the market. Yep, maybe. No? No. <laughs> Looks like people are slowly starting to wrap up. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Henderson, he's going to go with the, I think I would, I would recommend uh, you guys are going to do the mankinis, probably do them in black and just lay off on the fluorescent colors with our Pigeon Boss logo. And you know what else we could have for a funny logo? I hate to do this, but I'm going to, where is he? Where's the crook? Oh, I don't have him on here. I took him off. Oh no, here, look. We can put this guy on the on the mankini level. See, he's looking for them. There's a crook guy. Stay away from that one. Just a little bit. And I mean, you don't have to come here at. You don't have to come here at uh, six in the morning or five thirty. You can. I don't think it's life or death. I don't think it's life or death, but I'll leave that up to you. Hey, good morning, man. Oh, it's cold this morning. Yeah. A little bit too cold today. Last week was real nice. Oh, geez. You're buying, buy, you're buying, eh? <laughs> like a, you're like a kid. One bag of cold. One, ba one bag of cold. Yeah. In a sweet shop. How much was this one? 15 euros. 15 euros. Yeah, the equivalent of 13 pounds. 13. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Same pigeon two weeks ago, 60 euros. Yeah. Well, this is the last week, that's why. This is the, the next hours, the real deals. It's not very busy because of the weather. You, yeah. can't, you can't breed it for that. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. And only in one toss you can lose it. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I've had some good ones from before. Have you had some good ones? Uh, You've had some good ones? I bought one pigeon in 99. I had nine first, two fast feds. So you bought one pigeon in what year? 1999. 99. Wait, 99. That's how many years ago? 25 years ago. And you've not, have you ever found one that's matched that? I've not bought one since, believe it or not. 
old shit. <laughs> so this, you've been on a diet since yes. 99. So, so wait a minute, nine, nine times first wasn't enough for you? No, no, because that, after that man had nothing. He was gone. Okay. Yeah. But then another man, mm -hmm. uh, I bought some in 97, one cock. Oh, it was up in the corner. Yeah. Just on growls. It was a uh, Cobra Brothers. That pigeon had first combine doing a thousand yards a minute. He had a first federation doing two thousand yards a minute. Holy jumping. He had 11 firsts up to a yearling. Huh? Um, he bred me a first set to a fourth open national. I lost him at two year old. There you go. And that was expensive. That was fifth. That was a thousand thousand francs, which was 18 pounds. That was expensive. In nine, ah, hold on. Don't, we're talking 1987. 87. 97. So, 97. so 97. This was in 99. Last time you were here, yeah. and now it's today. No, no, I've been here every year, but I've not been buying since. You haven't been buying no, since. That is for a friend, not for me. Not for you. <laughs> By the time he gets them home, they'll be his. That one, baby, for the grandkids. For the grandkids, all right. But now they're on good call, they might win. Did you get your German birds today? Here he is. Leckart from Germany. All around. All around. So he, he was happy yesterday. He was talking you up a big storm. Yeah, whole round. Whole round. A whole last round. Year, he bred 24 pigeons. Mm -hmm. I had 10. Before we give away. John Jarrett had 10. Out of that 10, John Gerard sold five of his. Out of my 10, I had uh, one week I was first, second, third federation, two of them with this. And, um, another week I was first federation with a different federation, one of them with this. Another week I had a first with the win against me, that one of his. So I had four winners, two of them fed winners, out of 10. John Gerard raced five. One of them was his best young bird, 20 minutes clear, his neck bird international. And uh, uh, Gary Hodges had five of John Gerald's 10 originally. He was first section of four fucking national. Not bad average. <laughs> She's feeling good this morning. So now you know why I'm having the full round. <laughs> He's getting the full round. He's not selling any either, right? No. Okay. Keep them all now. Yeah, that's fine. What, what, what's the family? Uh, it's uh, Smolders and Jansen Kitchens. And, yeah. Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit from a book. Little Van and Because of my friend, uh, books. Oh yeah. I got uh, this half sister from Sagan. Patrick's got good pigeons. Very, very, very good uh, reader from uh, Etienne de Foss. Ah. Yeah, from very, very strong. Yeah, uh, it was. Uh, Cavendish. Cavendish, oh yeah. Very, very good. Huh. Well, hey. A few years later, I tend to post stop and listen to the Well, your, your, your friend's very happy. He was excited. I can't wait to come tomorrow to get the birds from you. So, you had a far drive or no? Yeah, there are two hours. Oh, that's not bad. All right. Yeah, we meet, meet us here on the halfway. <laughs> I'm going back to the car. Leaving? Yeah, to the car. Okay. Breakfast. All right. Okay. I'll see you. Ryan, see, you see, see you again. Time. Yes. I met you in exhibition. Poland. Poland. Well, now I met you here. With John Gerard. Yeah, we were all together in the little uh, the little restaurant. And John was um. Yeah, everybody was tipsy. Oh, he got his paperwork. Hello. All his pedigrees. He yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah all right. I'll see you. All right. Okay. Uh, last time we spoke about feeding barley for the body weight. But do you oh, no, feed no. barley you mix to go? with the molting season? Yeah, you can use a molting. You don't have to lighten pigeons feeding them barley. You lighten it off. You feed heavy feed, but you just feed lighter. You feed a, don't feed them as much. <laughs> you don't feed as much. That's what it is. But if you feed a heavy mix and you add barley, it basically is your break. You could always have a bit of barley. You can use barley as a stopper. Look, here's a pigeon with a ring. With a band. Look, two. Huh. There you go. Look, look, look. Let's see. Look at the look at wild pigeons with rings. Oh, let's see. There you go. See the rings. Thanks, man. Have a good day, eh? Yeah. yeah? Yes? Well, what did you guys think of that? Hopefully, we didn't get a parking ticket. <clears throat> uh -uh. 
see people I met in Poland, they're here. <sighs> uh, hey Ryan, what's the biggest flop you have seen while well, you've been that out laying around joined up with other race birds? What's the what's the biggest flop? I don't know. I, I don't get the question, Fawcett. I don't get the question. Hey Ryan. That's the biggest flop you've seen while you've been. I don't know. Even city pigeons are racing pigeons in Belgium, yes. Look at that, two of them together. That's pretty interesting. Only at the Lear Market you would see that. Let me zoom out. I got the camera too far in. There we go. So there was your market. We did market. We did walk around. So there were even youngsters there for 15 euros. I seen 20. I seen 30s. I seen 50s. Oh, the biggest mobs. Um, I get it. The biggest mobs of pigeons, uh, you normally see about 40, 30, 20, a lot of groups of 15. But you see pigeons all day, all day. I mean all day. It's like you go to Chris Clarebots, for instance. If you were, if you were in his area, he lets out at 8, eight o'clock 12 little hood cocks. At 9 o'clock, he lets out the first round of youngsters. At 10 o'clock, he lets the second round of youngsters out. At 11 o'clock, and I mean in, in an hour, you know. Basically, it's every hour a group of pigeons. So you see all different sizes. You obviously can tell when it's a young bird group because the group's bigger. <clears throat> Doing the next tour, it's on our, for this elite page, it's going to be the, I believe it's in the first week of November. No, my nose is running. <clears throat> my nose is running. Well, I'm glad that you guys appreciated the experience. We like to bring it to you. We like to have some fun. We smoked off two hours, but guys... This is the market. In about four hours' time, wherever you are from now, so it's 10 o'clock, 11, 12, 1. In about three hours' time, three, three and a half hours, we're going to be with Bosmans and Lincolns. We're going to talk some pigeons. It's going to take me about an hour's drive to get over there. If you have questions for Mark or for Dirk, don't be shy. Get your questions in. Hey, and if you haven't, check out the video that we did with Bosman's and Lincoln's The Loft Tour. If you've watched that video and you have questions that maybe I didn't ask, again, guys, I can't ask every question and I can't make Loft Tour videos for five hours. Um, now's the time when you can ask. But their auction's closed tonight, so don't be shy. Get involved. That was a fun morning. You know what, we took a kind of a cold chilly morning and we turned it into cold chilly, fun, a little bit of exercise. We ate a lot of bad, uh, bad food, but it was good bad food. We had our Australians in the house. Our Australians really come on today. They were like a flock of koalas or something. Uh -uh. Here we are. So, so let's hop in here before I wrap this up. Yeah. There we go.
Ooh, chili, 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 chili. All right, guys, that was fun. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I want to thank the Lear Market for putting this on and continuing it to go. You know, without the people's support, uh, people organizing it, it wouldn't like anything. Who wants to do these kinds of things? So the people that put the market together, good job. Um, again, it starts only the middle of February till uh, the middle of March. It's about four or five weeks. Pigeons go from anywhere from 15 up to, I think, 50 euros. They sell baskets and feeders and drinkers and young birds and old birds. And you never know. You never know. No, I'm not going to play Rocky. I got to have a, I got to have a shower. I don't know. Something here. It's like I got sauce or something. What can I say? I will say, though, it's totally worth uh, coming to the Lear Market and experiencing it. You can go, you can handle, you can look, you can go for a walk. I will say, though, if you do come, dress warm. You can always take layers off, but if you don't have enough layers, you can't bring them. And uh, like Jeff always did, he wore a heated vest. And if you get one of those cameras on your vest, you can feel safe as well. But... Uh, this town is great. It's fun. It's nice. You don't have to get here at 6. You can get here at 7.30 or 8 o'clock. You can still see there now. People are still with birds. So, For Australian people, check out our tour. I got 10% left of battery. It was fun today. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Again, three hours from now, I will be with Bosmans and Lincolns. I want to see you guys participate. Fire in the questions to Mark and Dirk, Bosmans and Lincolns. Fire them in. Don't be shy. This Lear is beautiful. I recommend it. And ah, guys, get on our next Pigeon Boss Tour. Seven days of fun-filled fun. A lot of fun. I'm Ryan for this Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'll see you in a few hours. Time for me to go for a little drive. Thanks for flying with me. I only have 5% left. We smoked off a whole battery. Two hours and five minutes. I'll see you guys on. Hey, be safe. Bye for now.